This is what we're highlighting right here is this optical finger mouse. It's got this really nice cord which is braided and it doesn't tangle and it has a USB plug. Um, what you do is you can Velcro this USB mouse onto your finger and slip it under this little loop here. Now what we found out was that you want to move it down closer to the end of your finger. These are the two mouse clicks and this is a scroll. So to click you just push in and that activates the click of the mouse. Okay, so I'm going to plug this into my USB drive. And as you see when I do that, I get a red light on the finger mouse. And it automatically works. My computer recognized it right away. And so I think for children, putting it actually on their finger, because it's kind of big, it might be too big for that. So actually, if they do hold it and use it kind of like And then you can click. So this is the optical finger mouse that we're highlighting in July under the children's mouse skills section. Um, so this one I ordered from Amazon. It was $6.50, which is, can't beat that. And it came within just a couple of days. So Bucky had a hard time finding this, but I think he did a good job. Okay, you could also use this if an individual needs a different access method for a communication device. I'm just gonna change the access method here and this is a Vantage communication device. I'm going into Selection Technique menu and I'm going up to the top and changing the Selection Technique to Head Pointing and I'm going to say OK. You know I do want this on Dwell So I have it on auto for selection type, and I'm going to increase this time to 1.5 just so that it's not selecting things too quickly for me. I'm going to get out of the toolbox, and I'm just going to plug it in. There. The device automatically recognizes it and I'm ready to go. So it's on Dwell, I don't have to click. I like this. I like this. Do you? So it's that simple.